What if I tell you that this is not honey, but sugar cane syrup? In this video, we are going to cover how to make it, its benefits and uses. To get started, let's go ahead and remove the joint from the sugar cane. While we are removing it, let us talk about the uses of sugar cane syrup. Sugar cane syrup has a versatile uses in both culinary and non-culinary application. It can be used as sweetener in recipe like pancake. It can be added to cake, cookies, and other baking recipe as sweeteners. It can be used as a base for marinade or glaze for meat, particularly in barbecue recipe. It can be mixed into beverages like cocktail, teas, and lemonade to enhance sweetness. It can be incorporated into salad dressing for touch of sweetness and depth. It can be poured over pancake, French toast, or yogurt for added flavor. It can be drizzled over ice cream as natural syrup. After separating the joint from the sugar cane, it is now time for me to begin to peel them. As we are peeling them, let's talk about the health benefit of sugar cane syrup. Sugar cane syrup offers some potential health benefit. It contains various nutrients, including iron, magnesium, potassium, and antioxidants. It has a low glycemic index compared to refined sugar. It is beneficial for those managing blood sugar level. After peeling the sugar cane, I'll be cutting them into bits. Please, if you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more great videos. After cutting them into beads, it is time for me to begin to blend the sugar cane. I will add some to my blender and I'll be blending it without water. After blending, I'll be extracting the juice from meat with my cheesecloth. I'll transfer the blended sugar cane to the cheesecloth. and begin to squeeze out the juice from the sugar cane. And I'll be doing it until the juice is totally out from the sugar cane. After extracting the juice from the sugar cane, I'll set the shaft aside and I'll be using the sugar cane juice to blend the other sugar cane. I'll add the sugar cane juice to my blender and add some sugar cane to it. Then blend. 
I'll be repeating the same process for the remaining sugar cane. I will blend extract the juice and use the juice to blend the sugar cane and extract it again. You can see that we are getting more juice from our sugar cane. After extracting the juice from the sugar cane, I'll be saving the sugarcane juice into my cooking pot. Then I'll be transferring it to the heat. I'll be doing the cooking of this sugarcane syrup on a medium heat. After some time of boiling, you will discover some yellow substance on it. This time you remove it gently with either sieve or spoon and continue to boil. As you boil, the juice continues to reduce in size. It will reduce until it becomes to turn into brown color. As the color is changing, continue to stir. We we'll stir until our sugarcane syrup is properly formed. Now you can see that the extracted juice has turned into syrup. The next thing I will do is to turn off the heat and continue to stir for some time. Now our sugarcane syrup is ready. You can now use it for whatever recipe you want to use it for. You can see the consistency of my sugarcane syrup. I will just go ahead and transfer my sugarcane syrup into an airtight container. Please, if you find value in this video, kindly click on the like button, share with your friends, and comment. Thanks for watching, and God bless.